Greetings, friends! And welcome back to Ocarina of Time. Yeah, we're finally gonna make our way to Gerudo Valley, yeah. slash Gerudo Fortress, slash whatever it's called in this game, I forget. Yeah. I think it's Gerudo's Fortress. Mm hmm Yeah. Gerudo Valley is like that little area before you get to the fortress, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Yeah, I really like it too. Spear Temple is great. Mm hmm yeah, when I was a kid, I was really bad at the Gerudo's Fortress because I had a really hard time telling, like, which door I came out of. And every time I, like, went in and out a door, I was always like, where am I? <laughs> but, you know, now that I'm an adult, I know what, where it is, where to go, <laughs> what to do. <laughs> I was going to say, I know what's what, but... Alrighty. And I think there's a gold skulltula in the valley before I get to the fortress. Yeah, there might be two. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I know there's one up on that like stone pillar, and there might be one behind their little hut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to make it nighttime, unfortunately. Yeah, and then there's also one in that rock. I'm pretty sure up there. Yeah. You mean by the uh, carpenter dudes? Uh, right up here on this ledge. I don't think so, because when I click on this thing and I look at Hyrule Field, it says that we have all the... Oh, yeah. it does? Uh, yeah. Cool. We got, we got one that was up here when we were kid, Link, uh, with Din's fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was like a bunch of spiders and like a gossip stone and a cow, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll make it daytime again, just so we can hear the music after I get these gold skulls. Yeah. Go, Epona! Woo! <laughs> yep, I gotta make it nighttime. Oops, already have the ocarina. My bad. <clears throat> Epona loves it. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember if there's one behind the... There's one right up here. Yeah, and yeah. then I think there's one behind the little hub, but I'm not positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me check. Yes. Haha. And then I don't remember if the map divides up all the Gerudo areas or not. Okay, cool. Yeah, Gerudo Valley got all of them. There's one that we have to get at nighttime in the fortress, too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably beat the fortress first and then get the gold skull to live there after. <laughs> And I'm also planning on um, doing the the horseback shooting gallery thing mm -hmm. and going across the haunted wasteland so that we can get the Spirit Temple song. Yeah. Gerudo's Fortress. <laughs> hey, y'all. Do you care if I join your super cool gang of thieves? <laughs> I'm ready! <laughs> <laughs> just Shoot. aren't catching me that's totally fine with me <laughs> you saw nothing <laughs> yeah then there's gonna be one right around this corner oh can't see you from there sorry <laughs> Hey you, young man, over there. Look over here inside the cell. Yes, Look over we're... here inside the cell. That's what we're doing, pal. I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful. There's sure to be a uh, Gerudo guard somewhere around here. Oh, well, watch out. I don't remember if DQ nuts work on them or not. I think they do. Let or me just... if they don't, the hookshot does. Yeah. Nice. Come on. Gotcha. You're done. Got this key. <laughs> Yeah, 
Did you come here to save me? Oh, that's just swell. I'm Ichiro the Carpenter. We were really interested in joining their all-female group, but they locked us up it like this just because we're men. We don't care about the Gerudo anymore. They're so rude! Three of my fellows have also been captured, so please help them escape too. See ya. <laughs> Do they- they don't give you anything for doing this, right? They just, uh, fix the bridge? Yeah, I think they just fix the bridge. So they just do their job? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's real good for me. <laughs> Going in here. Boop. I think there's a chest with 100 rupees or 200 rupees in there, but our wallet's full, so mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. Anyone around the corner? Nope. I'm pretty sure the piece of heart is going to be up here. Yeah, or like straight across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the gold skulltula is going to be on this wall to my right. Mm -hmm. I think I can long shot it from here. Yeah. Give me the piece of heart. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. And then where do I want to jump down to? There's no door here. What about here? Does one come right by here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Got you. I knew it. <laughs> And here should be another one of the guys. Yes. yes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> hey, you young man over there inside the cell. La la la. I'm pretty sure they say like pretty much the same thing. I have mm -hmm. no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts. Yeah. All of my fellow carpenters and blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, just try to attack me. <laughs> Taking too long. <laughs> I got a small key. Open sesame. You're a cute kid. Thank you for coming to save me. I'm Jiro the Carpenter. These women are so scary. I'd rather work as a carpenter than join them. I can't wait to say goodbye to this place. Two of my buddies are still being held prisoner. Will you please go get them out too? Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> you just hear him like fading off in the distance. Yeah. That's the only door in here? Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. That guard might be standing. I, I don't think so. They stay down for a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. And there's no other exit in here? Nah. Nope. Cool. See ya. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go up here. Hmm. Don't think I've been in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this looks just like an area where one of the guys is. Yeah, sweet. I knew it. <clears throat> Hey, you, young man, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, unskippable dialogue. <laughs> All of your friends said the same thing. Mm -hmm. Also, now I'm kind of like getting a little hyped. Am I going to beat the whole Gerudo's Fortress without getting caught once? That'd be sweet. That would be sweet. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> yeah, normally I get caught immediately. Yeah, just cause, like, right when you go up the stairs. I feel like it's easier that way to just like fall right down to that one that's right there. Mm-hmm. Come on! Got this. Thanks, boy. You're fantastic. I'm Saburu the Carpenter. 
Have you seen our boss boy? He's probably worried about me. I have to get back to him immediately. One more of our workers is still a prisoner. Please save him. See a Saburu or Saburo. <laughs> Zabumafu. With the Crash Brothers. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Trying to ruin my plans. I think this might be the last one. Yep. Yeah. Sweet! <laughs> now as long as I don't get caught by this lady, then I did the whole fortress without being caught. That's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. You must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know if they implied in this game or if we missed the dialogue or anything, but I think it's implied either in this or Majora's Mask that like all these carpenters are supposed to be gay. Or very like foppish. Yeah. Yeah, just because they all like run. They got their little hands out. They're all like, oh, you're a cute kid. I wanted to join the all girls group, but they're so mean. <laughs> like, you know, it, it, it never read to me as like, yeah, I wanna I wanna get with all the girls. Like it always it always read to me as like, oh hey girls, we're taking a break. <laughs> and then, like, you know, we don't wanna work. <laughs> Sweet. Gerudo's fortress is done. Hey, man. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free. Thanks. I'm Shiro the Carpenter. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Gerudos talking about. They said, in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going back to my tent near Gerudo Valley, so drop by sometime. You may find something helpful there. Bye! Not really, though. <laughs> you just find that the bridge is completed and that they have done their job. Yeah. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here, you must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men besides the great Ganondorf were useless, but now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Naburu, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naburu is the second in command to the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. Her headquarters are in the Spirit Temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then, you're in from now on. Take this with it, you will have free access to all areas of the fortress. Sweet! Gerudo's membership card. Now I can get into the training ground in their hideout. Yeah. And now none of them will give me any crap. <laughs> Yeah, normally when, like, the ones in purple, or if the ones in white, if they see you, they'll, like, blow a whistle, mm -hmm. and then come chasing after you. No, I, oh, no, oh, I, I don't, <laughs> don't want to do this right now. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not going. Take go our friggin' money. Yeah, just take our 10 rupees, I don't give a shit. Yeah, normally they'll see you, and it blows, like, a high-pitched whistle sound, and then they come and get you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta call a Pona. Yeah. Come here, horse. <laughs> Come right here now. now. Get your ass over here. Yay, she came from the wall. <laughs> Sometimes she gets... No, I was holding up. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, Epona. Go. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> yeah, sometimes she'll get stuck on the stairs and stuff around here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see how many attempts this is gonna take me. Cause I gotta, I gotta do it successfully twice. Hey, newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but okay. How about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score a thousand points, I'll give you something good. Do you want to try for 20 rupees? Sure. Yeah, and I don't remember for sure, but I think I need to just beat a thousand this first time, and then I think the second time I need to beat fifteen hundred, yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. Oops. Fucking up already. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's fine. I should be able to beat a thousand. Mm -hmm. The fifteen hundred one might take me a couple of attempts. Oh my god. Alright, and I got four arrows. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the 
You like my music? Fantastic. You are a true master. I'll give this to you. Keep improving yourself. Sweet. Nice. Now we only have four left. Where's my horse? <laughs> No, I'm not trying to check the sign, I'm trying to talk <laughs> <laughs> to the Gerudo. Hey, rookie, blah, 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 1,500 this time. 20 rupees? Sure thing. Sweet. I only have to get another 540, so hopefully I can manage. <laughs> Sweet! Nice. Let me just... There we go. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> I'll be darned. You're the ultimate master. I'll give you an item suitable for the master. This quiver is very important to me. I want you to have it. Take good care of it, okay? Sure. Got the biggest quiver. Now I can carry even more arrows to a max of 50. Now I'm gonna play the sun song. Cause there's a gold... That was weird. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. There's a gold skulltula up here and then there's one in the fortress. Yeah. Will it put me here or... Nice. Okay, sweet. Where is that darn horse? Yeah, where the fuck did she go? <laughs> Get your ass over here! There she is. It's not this one, is it? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's the other one. Yeah, I think so too. Just listening. Yeah, I can't hear it. Mm -hmm. Come on, Epona. <laughs> Let's go! No! <laughs> Come on, every time. It's because I'm tapping A. <laughs> I'm just too eager. I gotta let her get going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think he's just on this target. Yeah, on the back side of it or whatever. Mm -hmm. There the he is! Side. Yeah, and that Gerudo's training grounds thing that it tried to take us into, we'll do that probably in the episode where we start Ganon's Tower. Yeah. Either that or um, in the next episode after we beat the Spirit Temple, mm -hmm. just depending on time. Um, and you get the ice arrows out of that, which is neat, but they yeah. aren't really good for anything in this yeah, game. they're not useful at all in this yeah. game. I don't think you can freeze, like, any water. Yeah, and you can't freeze, like, lava or nothing either. You can't freeze enemies, can you? I don't think so. Mm. I'm not positive, though. If you can freeze them, you still can't stand on them, which right. is, like, the big thing that you do in Majora's Mask. Mm -hmm. You can't run on this brick? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stupid horse. I want a refund. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta get the uh, gold skull to the little bit up over yonder. And I think I should be able to get it. Well, let me put on the hover bits real quick. I don't want to have to go like through the fortress. Mm -hmm. I think I can reach it from here. Oh, it's kind of far away. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that from here. Ooh, but let me let me do this. Can I roll over there? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. Um, yeah, let me just take off these stupid boots. Go in here. And yeah, now you don't have to worry about the guards or anything. If you really wanted to get that 100, 200 rupees, then you totally can. Mm -hmm. Also, I thought this was gonna take me higher, not lower. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm back here. All right, where does this take me? Hey, <laughs> pardon me. Just coming through. They don't really say much. Yeah, if you talk to them, they're just like, from now on, you're free to come and go as you please. The friggin' Colossus is at the end of the desert. Yeah. It doesn't have to be nighttime to get the one that's in the haunting grounds, right? I'm not too sure. I don't think it does. I'm not 100% sure. 
play the sun song. Oh, and I gotta get my lens of truth ready too. Mm -hmm. And let me just do that. Alrighty, off to the haunted wasteland. There's a dude on a floating uh, magic carpet. I don't even remember like what he sells, but I'm pretty sure it's useless mm -hmm. and expensive. Might be like potions or something. Mm -hmm. That would make the most sense, because like if you didn't have the extended magic bar and you needed to use the lens of truth to get across the desert and you ran out of magic, you'd be screwed. Mm -hmm. Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross and follow the flags we place there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You're going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. I love the little clap that they do. Yeah. See ya! Here we go! To the River of Sand! Yeah, basically you just need the long shot and the uh, lens of truth. <laughs> I used to think when I was a kid that you needed the hover boots. You don't. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Yep, and then you just follow these. Yeah, so I guess theoretically you can do the Gerudo's Fortress before you get the long shot, although if you get caught, I don't know how you get out. Uh, you can reach the thing with the hook shot. You can. Sure. Yeah, I think I've done it before. Gotcha. Yeah, I've never done that before just because, like, you need the long shot for this part, so I always just wait. Yeah, you can't get the piece of heart without the long shot, though. Mm. Yeah, I believe there is a gold skull to the... Yes, does not need to be nighttime. Come on. And then I'll just do this real quick, just because this video is kind of short anyway. Mm -hmm. Din's fire! I think this is 50 rupees. Oops. Went to the wrong side. <laughs> yeah! Climb on up out of here, and then the ghost should be like right at the top. Yeah. I hate that it gets so dark. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Like it's bright as shit out here, and there's lit torches down there. Why <laughs> does it get so dark all the way up? <clears throat> yeah, and if you don't have the eye of truth, uh, you're screwed, baby. <laughs> In the 3DS version, they made that into a big pill. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just look like this. I'll be your guide on the way, but coming back, I won't play. Something, something, and don't, don't be slow, or else you won't know where to go. <laughs> something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the friggin' levers. Yeah. The worst part about the desert. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, they just spawn in endlessly. You know, I wonder if you, like, were really precise and, like, drew out a map for yourself if you could just, like, go through this without seeing him. You can. You can? Yeah, I remember one time um, I saw a video on YouTube of somebody going backwards through the desert as Kid Link, mm -hmm. and they made it to, uh... Gerudo's fortress, so I did it myself and it worked. Mm -hmm. And it was really funny because I had the deed at that point, so all the Gerudo were just like, from now on, you're free to blah blah blah. <laughs> or actually, I might have done it before I had the. Uh, actually, nah, you can't. Because uh, you have to get that deed to get to this Colossus. Actually! Actually! <laughs> actually! <laughs> I'm gonna go get another item real quick. I think it's right here, right? Yeah. Fairy Fountain. Time for bombs and ocarina. Boom. 
Yeah, Thomas said this in an earlier video, but like, if you kill a whole bunch of these weavers, a big purple one will appear, and I think you get a bunch of rupees for killing them. Mm -hmm. Same with the uh, gways or the yeah. crows. And then the stow childs, the little skeleton mm -hmm. men in Hyrule Field. Yeah. Oh, I'm still kind of sniffly, sorry. The allergies, and then also the weather's just been crazy. Like yesterday, it was like in the mid 60s. Now it feels like it's in like the low 50s, and tomorrow it's supposed to be 70. Mm -hmm. Like, just make up your mind. Yeah, but tonight it's freezing down <laughs> here. Welcome, Link. I'm the great fairy of magic. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. Or else what? I'll kill you. <laughs> See this orb of light? It'll pierce your soul. <laughs> that just makes me think of... I think it's a Spongebob Halloween episode. Squidward pops up behind uh, <laughs> Spongebob. He's like, steal your soul. <laughs> or something yeah. like that. And uh, before that, he's like, I've come for your pickle. Yeah, that shit's <laughs> hilarious. It's in effect for a limited time. Use it carefully. Yeah, so... Nehru's love is really useful, um, mostly in this uh, upcoming dungeon. It creates like a magic barrier where you won't take damage. You'll still like go flying, like you know, as if you took damage, but you won't lose any hearts. Mm -hmm. And we have to fight a couple of iron knuckles in here. They could do like four hearts worth of damage with each hit. So I always use one even though I like hardly ever get hit. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't want to get hit and then like completely get screwed over. Yeah. yeah. Alright, time to enter the temple. And I'll read the little uh the little tablet thing real quick. Mm -hmm. Thought you could get me. Think again. Can't go in there. Hole's too small. Can't go in there. The block's too big. Let me see what this says. If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. And then this one... Might say the same thing. If yeah. you want to proceed to the past, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. Okay, bye. Kind of surprised he doesn't break his ankles here. Right. You just hear. <laughs> ah! <laughs> or what if he just landed on Link? Oops. <laughs> Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. Really wish it was like past, present, future. It's all a bunch of bullshit! <laughs> it all sucks. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Where all children belong. <laughs> I played this funky song. <laughs> hey, it's Kapora Gabora, or Rauru, in physical form, mm -hmm. as an owl. See ya! <laughs> you have learned the Requiem of Spirit. Now you know all the songs in the game. <laughs> so do you think Sheik just made that happen? I'm assuming so. <laughs> he like made the fire happen and all that stuff. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. We got all of the Skulltulas from the fortress, too. Um, I'm gonna travel back to the Temple of Time and then we can call it an episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then in the next one, we'll probably be getting all of the rest of the heart pieces and beating the Spirit Temple. Yeah. yeah. And potentially getting the ice arrows, but if not, we could just save in the Spirit Temple and then go get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.